Setting up multiple cameras for your live streams is extremely easy and quick to do. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set that up in Slobs and OBS. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Slojo, and if you're meeting me for the first time, a huge hug from me, with social distancing included. If you don't know who I am, I'm a Twitch streamer just like you. Okay. And yeah, I love learning things and I love teaching things. All the things in the things, I guess. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is open up your Slobs or OBS or whatever live streaming platform you're currently using. I've got my Slobs open right here. I'm looking straight into my web camera and I already have a webcam installed. I'm gonna assume that you have a camera installed already so you know the basics. But just in case this is your first time and you need to put a camera into your scene, what you're really gonna do is go to your sources and just say, add a new source. And then you can say, add a video capture device. And you can add that. And then you just select whichever one you want. So this is my, my gaming scene. So when I'm playing my game and I'm live streaming it to Twitch, like Counter-Strike or whatever else I'm playing, this is the scene. It shows the gameplay in the background over here. But now, let's say you want a different camera for your intermission screen for when you're not in game and you just want to chill and chat. So to add the second camera, all I need to do is go to the scene where I want it. And in here, I'm gonna click on the add a new source. And I'm gonna say video capture device. I'm gonna say add. Then I'm just gonna add a new source here. I could select this and you'll see my face already because I already have my ES Web Utility pre-installed, but let's just pretend it's your first time. I'm gonna say add a new source and I'm gonna call it ugly face because that's who I am. Just kidding, no one is ugly, everyone is beautiful, I promise. And there again, it's gonna select ES Web Utility. Just FYI, I am not using a cam link and if you wanna find out how you can use your Canon camera without a, without a cam link, I'll just link that up above a card should pop up. And then yeah, I can select all these custom settings here that I want. And because I'm not using cam link, I'm a bit restricted um, in resolution, but yeah, just I'll just say highest FPS, video format, eh, any. And then I'm just gonna click done. And I'm just gonna right click here quickly, transform and just make it um, fit to screen. Don't say stretch. If you stretch, you're gonna come out looking. What I'm doing, you are, you won't really be able to see it is i'm holding alt and i am just dragging the bottom edges and the top edge just to be below that white line then there's a layers panel there's layers in your sources and i'm just going to drag the camera source underneath the necessary ones like the white lines and then boom there essentially we have two different cameras working at the same time in streamlabs obs so for example if i come here my webcam pops up what's up and hello gorgeous and uh, yes you are gorgeous even if you don't think so and hashtag no home if you're a dude watching this if you want rounded edges and a border like this i do have a video on how to install it and i give you the template that you need for free so you can head on over and check that out but this is essentially how you set up for two cameras and if you may be thinking why would you use two cameras well my first question is why not actually just kidding it's just really cool and it's a nice change during your long streams to change it up and maybe you're an idiot like me and you don't have a dummy battery for your for your dslr camera and your battery runs out it's just a nice thing to have uh, which is why i bought the cheap webcam because it's small anyways and i was like you know what it's small when i'm playing a game you know you know you feel me you feel me so yeah, since I don't have a dummy battery, I can save the battery by when I'm gaming, switching off my DSLR and just switching to this cheap webcam, which I'm using. If this video helped you in any way, I'd really appreciate it that you smash that like button. If I left out anything important, or if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. And let me know, do you use multiple cameras in your live stream? I'm curious to know. I think it's a pretty cool feature to have. It's nice, it's different. Not many people can. And if you're wondering how you can do it on a budget, just have a cheap webcam and use your phone as a second camera. You really am multiple cameras, multiple cameras. It's quick, it's easy, just do.